A great start to the weekend here as we've got baseball from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Seattle Mariners and the New York Yankees. Yankee baseball starts now. C.C. Sabathia gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. Eric, any thoughts? Yeah, Matt, he, he did his job in his last start. He threw seven complete innings, but still didn't get a decision. We'll see if he can get the W this time around. Seth Smith heads for the batter's box, and we are just about ready for some Maybe evening baseball. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. First pitch, 7.06. And back to back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2 0 now. And it'll be important to stay warm tonight. A chilly 44 degrees here at first pitch. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. A moment now to give you a look at the Mariners starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on EK. Well, you better keep an eye on Robbie Cano as this game moves along. He comes in among the AL leaders in batting average, so he's been swinging it very well all year. It'll be fun to watch him do his thing in this one. Leonis Martin oh is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. And set up working the plate is Larry Bullard as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Well, my man Larry, he's solid. Rarely do many people get upset with his calling of the strike zone because it doesn't really seem like he favors any one part of the zone more than another. And a strike to even the count. One and one. That's no two. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Bases are empty. One man out. Fastball is looked at for strike two. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four seam it every once in a while. And when he does, he can forget it. Hit in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it, and that's the second out of the inning. And with that, let's give you a look at the Yankees' defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Yeah, Matty, Mark Teixeira has won multiple gold gloves, and for good reason. He makes playing first base look effortless. Picks short hops as well as anyone in the league, and he's a big target for the rest of his infield. Nelson Cruz will get his first opportunity now. 0 for 4 in Wednesday's ball game. Hit hard up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Yeah he was hoping for a quick one two three to start the night. Now he's going to have a little work to do with a runner on and a dangerous cleanup hitter coming up. Kyle Seeger set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man on first a chance to score. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. One thing to keep an eye on as this game goes along, first pitch strikes. The more this guy can work from ahead, the better off he's going to be. 
No, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he's really going to have to fight now. You got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Oh, well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. I think he's set up for that changeup again, Steve, don't you? I was thinking the same thing. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for Seattle, and now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Wade Miley, a right-hander out of Louisiana, will be the starter. E.K., what's the word on him? Well, guys, this will be his second start of the season. In his first start, he already got himself in the win column. He'll be looking to add to that here. Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. Leading off with the Yankees, left fielder, Brett Gardner. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. And E.K., you take a look at these Mariners entering play here tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. They've had to fly cross-country here to start this road trip, so these will be a pretty telling next few series to see what this team's really made of. Miley's ready. Here's the 1-1. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it. One gone. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Eric, who stands out to you? Well, you still got to look out for Carlos Beltran these days. He's been a really tough out this year, bringing an on-base percentage over 400 into the game. So I have a feeling he could be a key player in this one when it's all said and done. Into the box now, Rob Refsnyder. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Into the windup and the pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Very patient here to start the at bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. And with a quick breather here, let's take a look at how the Mariners will set up defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, Kyle Seeger over at third base, one of the best all-around third basemen in the game. Remember, he was an all-star in 2014, also garnered a gold glove award at that position. Alex Rodriguez will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Well, when you're hitting under 200 for the season, games like yesterday are going to happen on a regular basis. And this is taken for a strike by the 40-year-old veteran. No balls in a strike. Well, if these guys indeed want to get themselves a win here on the road, they're going to need a big pitching performance. And this will kick off the third base bag. And the throw will be too late at first, so a strange play there as he'll wind up with an infield single. And here's a situation where, heck, just make contact. Put the ball in play. You never know. Winds up beating this ball out. Mark Teixeira will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two-out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. First pitch coming, here it is. And he ball takes ball Jackson. one. A runner on first with two away. And 
maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. The 2-0 on the way. 3-0 and oh now. And he's got to be up there thinking, come on already, give me something to hit. Winging away, and now the count will be three and one. Hit to short. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. After one, no score. Franklin Gutierrez will stand in with an even 300 average here in the month of April. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Swing and a miss for strike one. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Sabathia gets the sign. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. Wow, he hasn't missed a beat since his last start. Remember, he had nine strikeouts in that one, and he's well on his way to a similar performance right here. Robinson Cano will stand in here in a matchup of two guys who know each other pretty well. Yeah, teammates for a long time, and I'd say that that maybe favors a hitter a little bit, but I guess it could work both ways. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but, you know, he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate. In for a strike, it's one and one. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Skied into very shallow right. Beltron is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Cutting seven. First baseman, Adam Lind. Adam Lind will stand in. He is off to a dreadful start at the plate as he has not hit the ball well in April. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. No score here as we play inning number two. Very weakly on the ground, but it gets foul. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. After it is Gardner. And that's the third out. Nice job there by CC Sabathia. Still nothing, nothing. Carlos Beltran will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Well, you look at the average on the season, guys, and he's not sneaking up on anybody. Pretty amazing numbers for him right there. So yesterday's performance, obviously no fluke. And the first pitch to the 38-year-old veteran is in for a called strike, nothing in one. Yeah, and in a good hitter's park like this one, it's going to be even more important than usual to keep that fastball down. That's right where he's got to be living. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One and one, here it comes. 
And this is hit in the air over toward the left field line. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Well, that's one of the dangers of being a corner outfielder. If you dive, there's no safety net behind you. I think he's pretty lucky in the end that this one wound up only being two bases instead of three. Heck, could have even been four. Chase Headley will stand in now with a good chance to break the seal here following the leadoff double. Well, it's a good RBI opportunity, but you've got to remember your first job, which is to at least get that guy over to third base. Here's the first pitch to him. Runner goes for third. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. It's too high, and he's going to get in there at third with a stolen base. Uh, I, I don't think he's too thrilled with himself behind the plate. It's hard to say for sure, but if he puts this ball in the bag, I think he's got a good shot at getting him at third. Instead, this one's high. He might even be fortunate it's not down the line, and the runner's able to slide in safely. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And now this is where you can be just a little bit more selective as a pitcher. You're looking for the strikeout. You certainly don't have to throw a strike in either of the next two pitches. So you got to see if you can get him to chase. And he missed with it. It's one and two. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. That's a great job there just to hold off. Down the third baseline. Backhanded. Throw to the plate. Ionetta puts down the tag. He is out at home plate. Well, that runner at third, he's going on contact there. That's got to be the only way to explain it. It's one thing if this ball's hit up the middle, but when you hit it right at a corner infielder, you got to figure he's coming home with it. They get him easy. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Runners on first with one down. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. This is hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Smith. Gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. And this is now a two-to-nothing lead for the Yankees. And how about that? Gary Sanchez has got himself his first big league round tripper. We'll have to wait and see how many more of these he can mount in his career. But for now, I'm sure... He's happy to say he's got his first. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this, watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark. I'm sure he was practically floating as he jogged the bases. He'll be replaying that at bat over and over. You know his phone's going to blow up. He's going to be calling his mom, his buddies. Everybody's going to be talking about this one. Here's Didi Gregorius. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. That batting average still well up there to begin play. One home run and a pair of RBIs. One out, nobody on. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, this is how you got to do it in this league. If you give up a two run home run, you got to just move on quickly. And he's still upset about it, don't get me wrong, but it's when you dwell on it that you get yourself into more trouble.
Aaron Hicks is in with two away as he takes a ball 1 and 0. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Grounder down the line at third. There is Seeger. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Leading off the inning, Chris Iannetta, as they'll look Leading to get something there. going here and even this game up. Chris Iannetta. Sabathia's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, you don't always need to have amazing movement to make a slider successful. And this is a case in point. We've seen sliders with 10, 11, 12 inches of break. This one only moves about eight, but that's more than enough to get the job done. Stepping in now, Sean O'Malley. As the first ball pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at one and one. Here it comes on one and one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. You can hit the low fastball, but you're not going to hit that one up there. You can just forget about it. You've got to make him bring that thing down. In tight with the slider, two and two. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Liner toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. And you know, that's what they needed. It's just a one out single, nothing too amazing. But now at least you get that guy into the stretch and maybe give your guys a little hope up there. Seth Smith will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. Yeah, but he hit it hard, though. He put a really nice swing on it. And we'll see if he can do that same thing right here. First offering on its way. He pulls this one into right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And these guys know that if you're going to get to a pitcher like this, you got to get to him early. Well, once he settles in, he can be really tough. But they've got two on against him now and only one out. Leonis Martin is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. And that's just not really his game. Anytime he keeps it on the ground, he's got a pretty good chance of beating out a hit. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box. So it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. Swung on and missed, 1-1. One and one. Oh, and he sure got a good one, doesn't he? That ball goes from about knee high to ankle high in the matter of about five feet. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a slider runs away from him there and the count levels at two and two. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. 
You start it in the zone, and hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. It turned out to be a good take. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Nelson Cruz stands in with two on and two out here in the third. And you know, some guys just get better with runners in scoring position and two outs. This is a big at bat for him right here, even though it's still early. Lays off 1 and 0. And you can bet they'll pitch him carefully with a couple guys on base. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. One and one, here it is. Hit hard to short. Gregorius is there. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Brett Gardner digs into the box in the bottom Leading of inning number Yankees. three. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Way outside, 1-2. and two. Pretty clear the plan is to keep everything away. And that's smart for most guys, but you've got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the outside part of the plate. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And he makes the throw to first. Gardner is retired, and there's one away. Yeah, a nice job behind the plate. He wants it low, so he's got a good idea that this ball might be in the dirt, so he's able to smother it and then make the strong throw to first. Into the box now, Rob Refsnyder. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Faces are empty, one man out. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one-out base runner. Yeah, they tried to go inside again. I like the call, but you know, this time he was ready for it. He tried this one for a solid base hit. Into the box, Alex Rodriguez, as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Martin. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. 
So a runner at first with two away. And standing in the dangerous first baseman, Mark Teixeira. Before the first pitch, a check at first. And a dive, but he's back in. Simple throw over there. He's set. Here it comes. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Hot shot on the ground is short. Right to him. Throw to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Leading off the inning, Kyle Seeger. And they'll need him to get something going here. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Sabathia into his motion. Here comes the first pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Chop foul right at home plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And Sabathia misses here. It runs full now, three and two. Oh, I think he'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Now batting. Right fielder. Stepping in, Franklin, Franklin Gutierrez. Gutierrez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Oh, good spot. On the black for strike two. inside with the slider and that'll back him up a bit I think he was trying to get that slider in on his hands but I don't think he meant for it to get in that far I think he just released it a little too late that one misses and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees it's two and two you know I think you have to ask yourself was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there or was he just trying to set me up for that change up away Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Gutierrez is retired two down now. Yeah, that's a good pitch right there. Get some fishing for it. Then nice work to tidy up behind the plate and make the put out at first. Here's Robbie Cano now. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Well, anytime you throw a first pitch strike to less than 50% of the hitters you're facing, you're looking for trouble, but not so in this game. We're in the middle innings here, and he's still pitching well. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Still a little bit early to be worrying about this, but in a two-run game, a two-out walk here would at least get the tying run to the plate. And on top of that, this guy has some pop. Well struck, but foul over by the coaching box. Two out, nobody on.
slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Well, you got to start a streak somewhere, and he's well into this one now. A six-game hit streak with that base hit. He's swinging the bat pretty good right now. Digging in, Adam Lind. He flew out in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat. In there, strike one. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And he falls behind 0-2. Here it comes on nothing and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Mariners leave one. They're still down. It's 2-0. Carlos Beltran is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Right fielder, number 42. Here comes the first pitch. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And a rather easy first out. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't trade places with that guy for anything. I mean, this would sting on a 95-degree afternoon in Arlington. But on a cold night like this, he's going to be fueling out for a couple of hours. That's called a good old-fashioned jam sandwich. Here's Chase Headley. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Well, he's thrown a first pitch strike to about 60% of the batters he's faced, so that's a pretty good percentage because we're into the middle innings right now. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. And that's not... That is not good. Hits are now even at four apiece. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Chop foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Set to deal on two and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Under it is Martin, and that's out number two. Now batter. Catcher. Gary. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Gary Sanchez. And he'll be looking to add on to his two RBIs from earlier. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. Oh. And he looks at a changeup in there, 1-1. One one. Ready with the 1-1 one pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. Here's the pitch on two and two. Chop foul at the plate and we'll do it again. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Hard liner towards short, and that'll get down for a two-out single. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Didi Gregorius in now. He went down looking at his first trip to the plate. 
he was absolutely frozen with a good fastball. So let's see if he's a little more aggressive on that pitch this time. Ripped on the ground to first. Lind has it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for the Yankees, but they're on top two to nothing. Chris Iannetta heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Sabathia sets his sights. Here's the first pitch. Right back to work is Sabathia as he gets ahead of the first batter here. Nothing in one. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. And Ionetta can't come up with that one as he swings through it for strike two now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Hicks is after it. One away. Now batting. Now in the box, Sean O'Malley. He reached on a single in his first try. Well, and everyone knows he's slumping right now, so we'll see if that got him going. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Nope. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. That evens it up one and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. I got two one the count. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. He's ready with the two two pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Hicks has it in his sights. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, left fielder, Seth Smith. Seth Smith will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Sabathia really putting all of his body behind that fastball. It's strike one. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Yeah, one pitch away now from getting through five shutout innings. And I'll tell you what, the way he's throwing, this could turn out to be a night off for the bullpen. Chop foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. A little bit off the outside, it's 1-2. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. Now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone, maybe even in the dirt. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Ah, and this guy won't lay down here because there's two outs and nobody on. He's putting up a good fight. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Gloved by Headley. And the throw is wide of first, and Teixeira can't keep his foot on the bag. Well, it's kind of a cold Center night, so that grass Jonas might be a little Martin. dewy, and that ball might have just slipped right out of his hand.
first things first. Here's a throw over. Back in standing. Keeping an eye on him. Here's Leonis Martin. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Next pitch will make an even 80 pitches for Sabathia. And he misses with it one and one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Look and a throw to first by Sabathia, and the runner will get back standing. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. And another foul ball. And that misses two and two. This is popped up. Gregorius is going to get there, and that ends the inning. One left for Seattle. They trail it here, two to nothing. Aaron Hicks comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. And double-barreled action now in the Mariner bullpen as both a left-hander and a right-hander start to throw. Outside with the fastball that's 1-0. Not close. It's 2-0. and oh. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Boy, and this is why you're trying to get yourself into good hitters' counts. This is just right down the middle on 2-0, and oh, and swinging at this should be your reward. But he decides to let it go. Belted high in the air out to left. Smith looking up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to left as the Yankees move out to a three to nothing lead. The only silver lining to this one from a defensive standpoint is the fact that it came with the bases empty leading off an inning. So you can survive it when this guy's hitting just solo shots. It's when he's doing his damage with two or three guys on base that things can really get out of hand in a hurry. Brett Gardner will stand in now. A punch out victim twice already. EK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game and you'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Boy, tough slider right there. Had him leaning back. I don't think he could have done anything with that pitch, even if he did swing at it. Three runs, six hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Nope. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Maybe a good opportunity here to, to show him a change up, give him a different look. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And Gutierrez will need to play this one off the wall. The throw into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Boy, you can bet you've got one ticked off dude out there on the mound right now. You thought he had strike three on the pitch prior to this one. Now, all of a sudden, he's got a guy out there standing on second base. And that completely changes the complexion of this whole inning.
In now, Rob Refsnyder. As he goes after the first pitch and lines one out to a right center. And that's in there. Base hit. Long throw to the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a change. That's going to be all for Wade Miley. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Mike Montgomery is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Alex Rodriguez will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Now a snap throw to first. A dive, but he's back. Why not? Make him get dirty. From the stretch. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Here's the 0-1. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Nobody out, runner on first. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. Swing and a liner, but foul. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Well, this curveball, it just disappears. He thinks he's right on it at the plate. Look where it winds up. Completely out of the zone. That's what you want as a pitcher. You want hitters to chase pitches that aren't strikes. Here's the first baseman, Mark Teixeira, now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. On the corner away, a ball and a strike. Drilled to the left side. Seeger has it. Cano for one. On to Lind. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Nelson Cruz will get things going here in the Mariners' sixth as he'll step in to lead off the inning. Boy, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left in this game, so just chip away, chip away. Hit to third. Headley's got it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. How about it? Third baseman, Kyle Singer. Kyle Seeger will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. Up next for These guys are just making it Mike much Hitler. too easy for them out Mike there now. I mean, they're down by a bunch, yet the first two guys both make first pitch outs. Franklin Gutierrez 
Ready to take another shot. Went down on strikes his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Gardner's after it. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They trail here four to nothing. Carlos Beltran gets things started here in the sixth Leading for the hometown the team. Right fielder. Carlos Beltran. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Ball one no in there and it's even at one even at a ball and a strike here's the pitch now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now grounded to short Played on the backhand. And now a jump throw against his body. And a heck of an effort that time, but the throw's too late, and that'll certainly be scored an infield single to lead off the inning. Well, this would have taken a superhuman effort right here, deep in the hole. You see he doesn't have time to plan himself, so he just leaps into the air, fires it across the diamond. Just a great effort, but this was always going to be a base hit. Here's Chase Headley as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. A high strike there, and it's 1-1. One one. Yeah, that finds a zone, but some of these pitches are getting a little too much elevation. That could come back to bite him. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Smith moves over. And that's the first out of the inning. Gary Sanchez will dig in again. And as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that was a big blow early on. First pitch on its way. Line toward the gap in left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Oh boy, he just basically went up and tomahawked that thing. Take a look at where this pitch is. That's not an easy pitch to stay on top of, but somehow he managed to do it, and now he's standing out there on second base right now as a result. Oh, he should be laughing about that one. Here's Didi Gregorius. Breaking ball blocked by Ionetta. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Good cut fastball in there, one and one. Yeah. 
hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. Ready with the one and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And to score is the runner from third. Now a long throw home. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. Aaron Hicks will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. And he'll try and crowd him there with a fastball to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Oh. I'll say this. He wasn't going to get his arms extended on that one. Hey. 1-0 -oh is a curveball that's over for strike one. And after you move a guy off the plate and you know he's all worked up, that's a perfect time to drop a curveball or a changeup on him. Great pitch call right there. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Bounced slowly back toward the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe route. Now batting. Left fielder. Brett Gardner gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. in the air out to center field. Martin is under it. And that retires the side. Fair to say. Oh my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. More from the Bronx after this. Back here in the Bronx. Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh. But before we do, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Robinson Cano is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. And so far in this one, they're still getting shut out. So this leadoff at bat could be huge if he can just get on base because they've been held in check all game. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. Well, it's just game one of this series, but you almost have to wonder if they forgot to pack their offense when they got on the plane. It's been nowhere to be found so far. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. The one and two pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Sanchez has a play. He's got it one away. Now batting. Yeah, a good pitch there as he gets the pop out on the fastball as we take a look at his pitch breakdown so far. Adam Lind will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Boy, and if anything, he's looking stronger than ever here in this seventh inning. Sabathia still has not allowed an earned run through six and a third. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again.
The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. You know, and these guys could have used a few more long at bats like this one earlier on in this game. Then maybe this starter would have been out of the game by now. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. And there you get a look at his pitch count. You can see he's over the 100 pitch mark right now. So some of those mistakes are going to start to get magnified late in this ball game. You can bet they're keeping close tabs on him in that dugout. Chris Iannetta will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And now time is called and the reliever is warm out there. Sabathia pauses first pitch on its way and this is lined right back up the middle. Oh and he botches it. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Maybe a chance here to put a dent into that scoreboard after all. This gives him a couple guys on base now here in the late going. And at the very least, another hit here could be enough for them to avoid the shutout. Sean O'Malley will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Here comes Yankee manager Joe Girardi on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move. That'll be all tonight for CC Sabathia. So he'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he now hopes the bullpen can go ahead and get him the W. Brian Mitchell will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. one a look here at the hits per side here in the late going ball, that's and that's too high. too high ball two and one thing you can't do here you cannot lose him and load the bases he's still got a couple pitches to play with but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone Runners are at the corners with one man out. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. The two two pitch. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. These guys really haven't had all that many great chances offensively. So, you know, they'd hate to see this threat go by the boards. Not a good time for a strikeout at all. Seth Smith gets a shot now with two men on and two away here in inning number seven. And we'll see here if he can come through. It can be discouraging to see opportunities like this late in a ball game go untapped. And oh, he can't knock this one down as it zips right by him into left. 
And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 6-1 game. Well, apparently, they've still got a pulse here. A run is in to score on the base hit, and now, with another hit or two, they could really make this interesting. Leonis Martin stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 1. Looking to minimize the damage here. Ball one. And there's ball one. One ball, one strike. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Two down, runners at first and second. Hard hit towards center. That's in there. Base hit. And a relay to the plate is in time. And he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. It's on the money. Mariners forced to settle for one. Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx. It's the Yankees six and the Mariners one. Evan Scribner is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Evan Scribner. Rob Refsnyder will step in to kick off the inning with Alex Rodriguez waiting on deck for the Yankees. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. <laughs> Cut fastball taken for strike one. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. And a good pitch there. It's a big front door curveball, and he had no way of opening up to it. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Now, you know, it seems like every time we check these out and show motion, it always looks like the bat breaks the plane. Look here, sure enough, I don't think he holds up in time. Looked to me like that was the right call. Standing in now, Alex Rodriguez, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. I'd say he's made a pretty good impression since coming on. With two batters, two strikeouts to start the inning. The first baseman, Mark Teixeira, stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And this ball sits sharply toward the first base coaching box. It's a foul ball. High and deep to straightaway right. Gutierrez ranging back. Still ranging back. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a solo shot off the bat of Mark Teixeira, number 395 for his career, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, you figure it's only a matter of time till this guy gets going. That's his first home run here on the season, and you can bet it ain't going to be his last. The batter, right 
fielder, Carlos Beltran. Here's Carlos Beltran. As he'll take a look at ball one. Now the Yankees with their three home runs now still have a ways to go to match their record for a single game. Twice in their history they've hit eight of them most recently in 2007. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Yeah there's a good one right there right over the top and just fire that thing in there. Two out nobody on. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. The ball flying around the yard in this one as you see so far there. Tap foul at home plate. On the ground to third. Oh, look at Seeger. He goes to first. Got him. Whew, no problem. Any questions as to why this guy's a gold glover? Didn't think so. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Nelson Cruz comes to the plate and he'll start us off in the eighth. Well, you're facing a pretty big deficit in this game, so they need to start clawing their way back. Couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike, nothing in one. Well, you know, you hear it all the time because it's true. First pitch strikes are so important. It really changes the complexion of the at bat for not only the pitcher, but the hitter as well, especially when you've got a good hitter up there. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Well, you know when you get two strikes on you, you go into that protection mode up there at the plate. Let's see where this pitch winds up. Oh, yeah. That thing's nowhere near the strike zone, and that's a good job of making a guy go fishing for something he didn't really want to hit. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Unable to get the bat around in time and the count evens at two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Boy, he's taking on the heart of the lineup and going right through it like they weren't even there. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now to the number three and four hitters, and he's making it look easy. Franklin Gutierrez will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Gardner on the move. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mariners are down in order. They're down 7-1. to one.
Chase Headley will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. He's set and the pitch. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. Hey. Oh, can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. That's still on his mind. And he three. takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Well, anytime you're leading off an inning, it's true. You don't want to just go up there blindly swinging at anything three. close to the zone. But you also want to at least take the pad off your shoulder. I mean, he phoned this one in. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. One out, nobody on. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first. Gets him from shallow right. And there's out number two. Striding into the box. Didi Gregorius. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The cutter runs outside. Ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A little bouncer. Foul ball, however, strike one. And now time is called here as in the bitterest of April ironies, a beach ball has made its way onto the field. And as I reach for another jacket and a cup of coffee, there's some kind of cruel joke in play right about now. Hey. Breaking ball snaps in there for a cold strike two. Good curveball right there, and that just really froze him. Drilled to the right side. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And this is just a great job of protecting. You can see this pitch is down. It's away. It's a borderline strike if it's in the strike zone at all. Yet he just reaches out and slaps it into right field. Stepping in now, Aaron Hicks, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Martin is after it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. The Yanks leave one. They're on top seven to one. Dylan Batensis will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Robinson Cano, and they'll need him to get something going here. Robinson Cano. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike.
Pitch is popped up. Sanchez is under it. One down. Adam Lind will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Tances sets and delivers. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. And after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And it's quickly 0-2. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And, oh, look out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. Uh, you got to be careful with that inside location on 0-2. The last thing you want to do is hit him. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Chopped at the plate, but that one rolls foul. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. inside as he nearly got him and it's ball four that's an easy take right there on the three two no, pitch man. not all that inviting yeah. at all you want to at least make the guy think about hacking up there instead now he's on with one away Chris Iannetta digs in coming off a single in his last at bat From the stretch, here's the pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. The victory here would go to CC Sabathia if the lead holds up. One and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strike. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Well, you could see his mindset at the plate. He's thinking, I got to get out in front here, try to pull something. Didn't really get a good pitch to do that, though. So he's going to have to go grab a seat. In now, Sean O'Malley. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. And against a guy like this, you're usually only going to get one pitch to hit in that bat. Sometimes you might not even get that, so that's one he may want back. 0 oh, 1 count and the pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Too high. One and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's a nice win here for these guys. And now I think, DK, you better hurry up and get to a computer so you can get your taxes in by midnight.
One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Well, a pretty good offensive show of force in this one. Probably at least a couple of players deserving. But, gentlemen, let's go ahead and give this man the nod as our top player of the game. Yeah, no question he was a tough out up there. You see the three hits, including a home run. Without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Harrow, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Yankees come out on top 7-1. to one. Good night from the Bronx.